This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the Janitorial Store's Office Cleaning Training DVD, a 40-minute video that will help your employees get off to a great start. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. technicians, janitorial work is just a job. They know they have to empty the trash, do some dusting, clean the kitchens and bathrooms, and vacuum and mop the floors. But are they really seeing the big picture when they're finished cleaning? Can they stand back and actually see things through your client's eyes? As cleaning business owners, I'm pretty sure you know what I mean by that because you walk through a building after it's been cleaned, knowing what's important to your clients. And how many times have you taken care of the little things that you know your client will be looking for when they come into the office the next morning? Typically, most cleaning still gets done at night. Then every morning your clients come to work. And when I say clients, I'm not just talking about your contact person. I'm also referring to all the people that work in the buildings you clean. So when they come to work, the first thing they see is the entryway. As they approach the front door, they're also observing the surroundings. What are they seeing? Trash on the ground? Dirt and debris along the corners and edges of the entry and on the windowsills? Cobwebs around the door frame? What about the door itself? Is it sparkling clean and free of fingerprints? Next, they enter the building where there's usually a lobby or reception area. Perhaps there are some chairs and a coffee table with brochures and magazines. Are the magazines neatly arranged and the brochures tucked in their holder? Is the entry mat vacuumed and free of sand and leaves? After moving through the entry, they may stop in the break room to put their lunch in the refrigerator. What do they see? Are the tables clean and free of spills and crumbs? Are the floors also free of spills and crumbs? What about the chairs? Are they pushed into the tables or are they scattered about making the room look messy? Next, they go to their work area. Is their chair pushed up to the desk? Are there paper clips, staples, and small bits of paper on the floor? Or is the floor clear of debris? What about their trash can? Is the can liner clean? Or is it a sticky mess with worn edges and post-it notes stuck to the bottom? You see, your customers are paying attention to the details. And if the details aren't taken care of, they assume the rest of the cleaning must be subpar too. So when training your employees, make sure you spend time explaining the things that are important to your clients. Now from your employees' perspective, some of these things may not seem like a big deal, but you know they are, and that many clients will call you on it. When your, when your employees start paying attention to the details that are important to your clients, and when they start stepping back and viewing the office through your client's eyes, that is when you'll notice more consistency from their work and fewer phone calls in the morning from unhappy customers. That's it for today's show. If you'd like help with training your employees, be sure to check out the janitorial store's office cleaning training DVD. These proven cleaning procedures will help make sure your office buildings are clean to your customer's satisfaction. I'm Jean Hansen, and I'd love to connect with you on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.